Hey everybody, uh, Chris Rowe from Quest Martial Arts, teaching martial arts skills and lessons for life. I'm getting ready to do an interview in about uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and for the first time that I can remember, we're actually going to be hiring outside of the school. Usually we have uh, you know parents or students that will fill a role inside the school, but I'm kind of looking for something outside. I want a new perspective. And I've got some interview questions I'm going to ask. But as I was getting ready for this interview, it sort of flashed me back to just a couple of weeks ago, I was in Lethbridge and I was talking with Master Colin Onamura and Master Darren Gibson from the UTTC, um, United Traditional Taekwondo of Canada. And they have a very successful school there in Lethbridge, Legacy Taekwondo. And I was reminded by Master Onamura that me personally, I'm in a bit of a unique situation where this is all I do. There's no full-time job that I do and then go and teach Taekwondo at the end of the day where I might teach two classes a night from 8 in the morning till 8.30 at night, sometimes 9.30 at night. I'm here in the, my school teaching classes from private lessons to the group classes that start at 3.30 with three and four-year-olds and then all through the night where I'm doing quest fit and sparring classes or whatever we're doing. But this is all I do. There's no, there's no fallback plan for me because this is all I want to do. Even if I won the Lotto Max, and I was just thinking about this, if I won the Lotto Max, the $50 million, that'd be kind of cool. What would I do? I would keep doing exactly what I'm doing. I'd still teach Taekwondo. Um, I might travel a little bit more, but I'd teach Taekwondo. I would always have this school running. Um, and that's, I guess, kind of a unique situation. So my challenge or my question to you guys is what would you do? You win the Lotto Max, you win the $50 million or the $30 million or even the $5 million. Come on, let's be real. That's plenty of money for us. What would you do? What would you do for the rest of your life? You still got to earn revenue. You still got to make money. Um, you know, you want to pay your bills, but what would you do? There's no restrictions on you. You win the Lotto Max game, maybe you don't have to make money, but what are you going to do? Um, sometimes people think about what they would do if they got into a situation where they didn't have to work. Well, I would just paint pictures on the beach and all of that sort of stuff. Well, why don't you do that now? Like, what are you waiting for? Um, tomorrow is never guaranteed, and we kind of hear that all the time. But what are you, what are you waiting for? You're going to wait for the perfect opportunity to do something that you should just be doing right now. Um, you know, I hear this phrase, or I've seen it and read it somewhere, where you create a life where you don't have to take a vacation from, because every day is a vacation. How cool is that? You know, we, in the hustle and bustle of our days, we get so busy being busy that we forget just to, it's okay to slow down. What's the big deal? We're going to be successful. We're going to have more fun. We're going to be more energized and be able to do more things. So my challenge to you guys, as we just sort of wrap this little video up is, what would you do? You have unlimited ability to do absolutely anything you wanted for the rest of your life. What would you do? Um... You know, would you be of service to somebody? Would you sit on a beach? I'm not going to do anything. I just want to sit on the beach with my feet up and drink some water, whatever the case is. Um, but share it in a video if you can. Uh, post a little, little note. What would you do? Uh, I'd love to hear some of this stuff. Uh, I'd love to learn. Uh, Chris Rowe from Quest Martial Arts, teaching martial arts skills and lessons for life.